I'm Rich Carroll. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. In their first meeting since Palm Coast City Manager Matt Morton resigned, City Attorney Bill Reichman told the council they have a couple of options. You can look inside from existing employees. Um, The other option for this interim position is to try to find someone uh, that is not a current employee, not currently employed by staff. The council would elect to look within as they unanimously agree to appoint Denise Bevin, the current Palm Coast Chief of Staff over Infrastructure, as the interim city manager. Thank you for hearing the level of confidence that you have in your staff tonight. And I'm here to serve the city of Palm Coast in any capacity necessary. With that, thank you and yes. The appointment of Bevin will waive current city manager Matt Morton's 30-day contractually obligated resignation period. Morton will remain the city manager until Bevin's contract as interim city manager is finalized, which could be completed as soon as the end of the week. Also at Tuesday night's Palm Coast City Council meeting, the council voted to get rid of a controversial, difficult citizens list. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those against? I see none. The motion passes 4-0. to zero. Councilman Ed Danko says he was unaware of the so-called naughty list and made the motion to abolish it. That list was put together possibly with good intentions to protect our city workers, and I think we do have to protect our city workers. But a secret list is no way to do that. And, and it's absolutely, it's, it's like something out of East Germany, as far as I'm concerned. We governments do not have secret lists and put citizens on it without giving that citizen a due process. Councilman Nick Lufus said he didn't know the list existed. He said the city should reflect on what it did wrong and develop policies. We have to make our city employees aware of potential uh, dangerous situations and how, how to handle uh, bringing additional presidents, however that would be uh, handled. But there also needs to be some type of procedure and notification process. So if you're on this list, you know, and you have the ability to appeal through the appropriate channels. I think the biggest problem that I have with it is if you're on this list, you don't know. And the city and all municipalities should be transparent. The list, which includes at least 37 names, apparently started in 2016 under the previous Palm Coast City Manager, Jim Landon. A local nursing home sees a COVID-19 outbreak. Amy Cherry has more. Flagler County Health Officer Bob Snyder. We right now have an outbreak at Flagler Health and Rehab Nursing Home. Twelve residents have COVID. Also, an additional eight staff members have COVID. So we've been in communication with the administrators there, and we're going to be arranging for special inspections to be done at that nursing home because this is a significant outbreak. Snyder tells WNZF's Free For All Friday what they've learned so far is that just 24% of the staff at the facility have been vaccinated. And it is clear what's happening here. They are bringing in COVID from the outside because their lack and their belief that vaccination is the way to go. What was happening is they're getting residents sick and this is all preventable. Of the 20 cases, four have resulted in hospitalization. Snyder says a surprise inspection of the facility should occur in the coming days. With demand for vaccinations decreasing, 57% of Flagler County residents have gotten the COVID-19 vaccine. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. It was a busy Memorial Day weekend for local law enforcement as increased patrols led to an overall safe holiday with several arrests along the way. John Arking reports. Members of the Flagler County Sheriff's Office had an increased presence on roadways with a seatbelt speed and aggressive driving enforcement campaign along with countywide DUI enforcement over the Memorial Day weekend. Sheriff Rick Staley said while most residents enjoyed the three-day weekend, others ended up with a less than enjoyable time. Well, there were a few people that didn't heed our warnings that we would have extra patrols both on the water and on our roadways. And they made their way to the green roof in for either DUI, other traffic violations, or in one case running from us and, and hiding most of the night until he was captured, in this case naked. So that resulted in a few arrests from running from us. So all that they should have learned is that you can run, but you can't hide, and you're going to go to jail tired, even if you're naked. The nudity that Sheriff Staley alluded to stemmed from a traffic stop early Saturday on U.S. Highway 1 approaching South Old Dixie Highway. While the suspect initially indicated he was pulling over, authorities say he fled. 
His vehicle was later disabled by stop sticks, with the two passengers eventually located after a search by canine and air units. The driver, however, wasn't found until the following afternoon when a resident reported they found a naked man laying in their yard asking for help. The suspect was taken into custody and transported to Advent Health for medical evaluation. For the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. The latest Tele Awards is recognizing the city of Palm Coast. Karen Johnson has the story. The city of Palm Coast's 2020 Feed Palm Coast Distribution Day social media video was named a winner in the 42nd annual Tele Awards. The city's video received a silver Tele Award for the category of general public service and activism for social video. Brittany Kershaw is the director of public information and engagement for the city of Palm Coast. We were informed that we received a Tele Award for the hard work of the communications and marketing staff on the video that they released after the Feed Palm Coast initiative during the COVID-19 pandemic. So they were able to capture footage that day, including drone footage and footage on the ground of cars going through the line and collecting boxes of food to help during the pandemic. The 2020 Feed Palm Coast Distribution Day video was created by the communications and marketing team in May of 2020. It highlighted the remarkable effort of the City of Palm Coast staff, community partners and residents who donated to the city's food drive in partnership with Parkview Church to help those in need during the COVID-19 pandemic. The video's imagery and storytelling showcase the community spirit of Palm Coast and the overwhelming support for neighbors. Established in 1979, the Tele Awards receives over 12,000 entries from all 50 states and five continents. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.